So basically, uh, what made me happy is the farmer came out, it came uh, with the investment. He invested in his tank, which is a very important part of the system. And then he signed a loan for the irrigation system. And he and, and the agreement is for him to pay back the loan uh, with the harvests, which is basically the way the income and the cash flows uh, with the farmers uh, in Peru. So basically he was able to harvest the beans, sell the beans, and invest in uh, the tank and the reservoir for the uh, irrigation system. So another important thing uh, to do when you are going to sell products is to understand your market. And uh, when you do that and you work in another country, it's important to um, uh, live uh, in the house of your customers, eat their food, uh, go to their parties, uh, and, and try to understand what they want and, uh, and, and, and what they need and not impose anything and this is one of the best things that happened to us uh, people are always coming and asking for things instead of us suggesting would you like to have this or would you like to have that but no they're actually uh, putting the ideas together and saying wait a minute that's a pump that's a solar panel can i have that for my farm or uh, how can we do this so i think that was a great accomplishment uh, I think that working in developing countries, uh, uh, it's more than just technology, it's more than just science, it's, it has to become a cultural exchange. We need to learn from them. This is a two-way street. So uh, I had learned a lot from the farmers by working with them uh, right n next to each other. And uh, I have learned how hard it is <laughs> to work under Th those conditions, not electricity, not running water, uh, and uh, how they solve the problems. Uh, they don't have uh, a Home Depot around the corner. So uh, all those skills you can only learn if you are in contact with them all the time when while you're transferring the technology. And it's not going to happen in one or two nights. It's going to happen over weeks. You need to come back uh, as much as you can. And, and you know, six months, uh, a year, you cannot just do a one-trip thing. So NCIA uh, gave us this opportunity uh, for this, with this grant to uh, optimize the technology, test it, and make it work. So um, she, they also gave us uh, the opportunity to receive this Venture Lab workshop where um, I personally changed my opinion towards business. I didn't want anything to know anything about business. I'm an engineer. I just wanted to do technology. <laughs> but then I realized that um, without a system to be invented, to be able to be sold, wh why would you make a technology? <laughs> I mean, no matter how beautiful this technology might be, if you're not able to sell it, if you're not able to make it work last, and make it affordable enough for people from developing countries, then you're not doing anything. So uh, it was great to be able to, to attend to the workshop and learn about business and how we could approach uh, the markets. Uh, so I, I changed my opinion and, and about business uh, with this workshop. It was a great opportunity, and uh, I think I am pretty sure we can make this happen.